701-706 review sheet. And so we've done all these things. So I'm just hoping you can refresh your minds a little bit. So first one is combine like, like terms, force, ugh, force four ones. So I will take the long way and I will arrange them so that the like terms are next to each other. Okay, so it's this guy, so it's this guy, minus 12m, and minus 8y, and plus 15y. So all my like terms are next to each other. I combine these two now. Right, it goes all the way up to here. And think of this as negative 7 minus 12. So it's going to be something, man. If you pull this out, it's going to be negative 7 plus negative 12, two negatives. So it's going to be negative 19, right? They're kind of friendly to each other. That part is done. Second part is negative 8 plus 15. So think of it as negative 8 plus 15. We have more positives. So how many more positives are there? So it's going to be a positive answer for sure. And you have seven more. And that's it. Here we have a lot of like terms. So I want to move them around. So it's negative 9. The like term is negative 9. It's negative 13. So I'll put that here. Negative 4a to the third power is this guy and this guy, so minus 13a to the third power. And then negative a squared plus 8a squared. So we have all the like terms next to each other. So let's think about these two. Negative 9 and negative 13 is the same thing as negative 9 plus negative 13. They're both negatives, friendly, right? So it's going to be negative 22, just a bunch more negatives together. Second part is this one. So it's negative 4, 8 cubed, minus 13, 8 cubed, so think, leave the variables alone. So I know it's going to be something 8 cubed. So it's negative 4 and minus 13, so you can rewrite this as an addition problem. Again, they're both negative, so negative 4, negative 13 is negative 17, 8 cubed. Last part. Now don't forget there's a 1 over here, right? So I know it's going to be something 8 squared, so I just don't know if it's positive or negative. And if I pull the coefficients out, it's negative 1. Let's say more, more positive, so it's going to be obviously 7 more positive, so plus 7a squared. And that's it. Bottom one. So here you have to do the distributive property first. Right? You can't combine like terms, not yet. So you got 15m, distributive property, right? Negative times a positive is a negative, 6m. Negative times a negative is a positive, 18 minus 12. Can I combine anything? Yes, they're right next to each other, so I'll combine these two. 15 minus 6, nothing to do here, it's just 9m. And then positive 18 minus 12 is 18 minus 12, which is positive 6. Here, be careful. You have, if you like, put a 1 in front of you, right, in front of, outside the parentheses. So it's a negative times a negative, it's a positive, so just 12w. Negative 1 and pos negative 7 is positive 7. There's also a 1 here if you want to think about that. So it's just going to be the same thing, 15w. And positive times a negative is a negative, And that's it. Combine like terms, let's put them next to each other. It's 12m plus 15w mm -hmm. plus 7 minus 9. These two are nice and easy because they're both positive. 12 plus 15 is 27w. And 7 minus 9, again, please. Take the time to read and write that. 7 plus negative 9, there's more negatives, so my answer is going to be negative, and there's two more. A little longer, but same idea. So negative times a negative is a positive, 12c. Negative times a negative, again, is a positive, 24k. Negative and a negative, positive again, and 3 times 3 is 9m. I'm going to put a 1 over here. So everything's going to come out the same, right? Same, nothing, because it's, it's just times 1. So negative times a negative is a positive, so that's going to be positive. Negative and negative, again, positive, hc. And negative and a positive is a negative 12m. See if you can combine some like terms. So 12c, I have another c over here. So these two will be next to each other. 24k plus 24k, sorry and this plus k next to each other. And finally, the plus 9m minus 12m next to each other. 12c plus 8c is just 20c. That's nice and easy. 24k plus k, don't forget there's a 1, so that'd be 25k. 
And lastly, uh, it's don't write any signs by note, something going to be m, right? So it's 9m minus 12n. So pull that to the side a little bit and rewrite that as an addition problem. 9 plus negative 12 is negative. Well, it's going to be negative, but there's more. How many more? Three. So it's going to be minus 3m. <clears throat> Same thing here. This really problem. Positive times positive is 32. Positive y. 4 times negative 23 is going to be uh, 92, I believe. 82, 92. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. Yeah, 92m. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 because positive and a negative is a negative. And then negative 2 times 5 is a negative, right? Negative 10y. And negative 2 times negative 15 is going to be positive 31. Let's rearrange this. 32y minus 10y minus 92m plus 30m and then the minus 20 all the way at the corner which is going to do pretty much nothing. 32 minus 10y, that's an easy thing to do. You don't have to, 32 minus 10 is just 22y. Negative 92 plus 30, so if I pull that out like this without the variables I know it's going to be something, and I just don't know if it's positive or negative. Well, negative 92 plus 30, well, there's definitely more negatives. And how many more negatives are there? Well, subtract, and you get 62. So it's negative 62m, and the minus 20 just tagged along with the m. So again, same idea, negative 3, this one does nothing, so it waits outside. So this is the one that's doing the distributive problem, negative 5. Negative 5 and positive 4h is negative 20h. Negative 5 and negative 6 is negative times a negative, so it's positive 30. Negative 5 and negative 3, it's positive. 5 times 3 is 15h. Negative 5 and positive 7 is going to be negative 35. Let's put the like term. So it's negative 3 with the plus 30 with negative 35 minus 12. All those are like terms. And then minus 20h plus 15h. So all these four, these four things over here are one group, and this guy is another group. So negative 3 plus 30, there's more positives, right? So it's going to be 27. And then we're going to do 27 minus 35. Take care of that. 27 plus negative 35. You can tell there's more negatives. How many more negatives? 35 minus 27 is negative 8. So I've done up to here. I did these two first. And I did minus 35. So now I have minus 8 and I have to do negative 8 minus 12 or negative 8 plus negative 12. And you can tell there's both negatives or just a bunch more, no more negatives hanging together. And that's going to give you negative 20. So from here, all the way to here is going to be negative 20. Next part is negative 20 plus 15, negative 20 plus 15, so it's going to be something h. And there's more negatives, so it's going to be a negative answer and difference of 5, so minus 5h. <clears throat> negative 6w, negative and negative is positive, 24. Negative 9 and 3w is negative 27w. Negative times a negative is plus 72. Like terms next to each other. This guy and this guy. The plus 24 is going to come out to the end. That's plus 72. So these two first. It's going to be something w. And it's negative 6 minus 27, right? So it's negative 6 plus negative 27. So they're both negatives, so just going to be a bunch more negatives together. And 6 plus 27 is 33, so negative 33w. 24 plus 72, they're both positive. Good, so that's easy. 24 plus 72 is 94. Final answer. Distributive property is easy. Well, all you have to do is distribute property. 5 times 8m is 40m. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. One. This one, pretend there's a 1 in there if you like. Negative 1 and negative 3 is positive 3w. Negative and 1 and negative 7 is again positive 7. 
times, negative 1 times negative uh, 9p, negative 1 times positive is a negative, and 1 times 9 is 9p. Negative and a negative is a positive, 9 times 4 is 36 a squared. Negative and a negative is a positive again, and 9 times 8 is 72 k5. And negative times a negative is a positive, and 9 times 12 is 1. Positive 4 and negative 10 is negative. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times positive and a positive is positive. 4 times 7 is 28y. Positive and, eight, and this negative over here is going to be negative. 4 times 8 is 32. And 4 times, so positive times negative again is going to be negative. And 4 times, there's a 1 over here, right? 4 times 1 is just 1. Sorry, 4 times 1 is 4. W is second. And you don't combine any like terms because there are no like terms. Same thing here, but this one's a fraction, so it's one fifth times twenty k. If you take one fifth and multiply it by twenty, right? You can simplify before you multiply, and five divided by five is one, and twenty divided by five is five. So you left this four over one. One times four is four over one is just four. So one fifth times twenty is four k. Positive and negative is a negative, so it's the same thing again. One fifth, you're doing multiplying one fifth times ten. Think of it, right? So this would be, if you think about it, one times ten is ten, at the bottom five times one is five, and ten divided by five is just two, right? So you're dividing, or well, you could have simplified before you multiply, same thing. Ten divided by five is two, so it's two r. And the next one, one fifth times five, positive and negative is a negative, and you get one fifth times 5, and 1 times 5 on top is 5, at the bottom 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 or 5 is just 1, so it becomes 1. <clears throat> negative and negative is a positive, 1 fourth times 8, so think about 1 fourth times 8, or you can think of it as 8 divided by 4, right, because if you multiply the top you get 8, 4 times 1 is 4, and 8 divided by 4 is 2, so you get 2w. Negative and a negative, again, is going to be a positive. And if you think about 1 fourth times 12, you can think of it as 12 divided by 4, right? Because if you multiply 1 times 12 is 12, and 4 times 1 is 4, and you eventually get 12 divided by 4, it's going to, be, it's going to give us 3c. Negative times a positive is a negative, and 1 fourth times 40 is 40 divided by 4, or 10 m. Um, <coughs> Factoring. So for these ones, you might want to use your ladder method. Okay, they come in handy. So I can do this if I like. Find the biggest number that goes 18 and 27. Let's up with 9. 9 goes in 18 2 times, or 2m, minus 9 goes to 27 3 times. Can I go on? No. So this is my GCF. So I need you to write tomorrow that this is 9. And in parentheses, it's going to be 2m. Minus 3. You can check 9 times 2 is 18m and 9 times 3 is 27, which give us our, our original expression. Okay, so final answer is this. So if you just show me the latter method, that's I'm not going to give you might get half a point, but this is what I'm looking for together with the work. Same thing here negative 12w plus 15h. Uh, we can take a 3 out. And that becomes a 4, 12 divided by 4, but it's going to be negative 4w. And 15 divided by 3 is going to be 5h. So here's our expression. That's my GCF. 3 outside and inside, negative 4w plus 5h. You can always double check, see if it actually, you apply to the security problem if you get back to negative 12 plus 15h. Okay? <coughs> Same thing, negative 25d plus 20m minus 15. Let's pull out the 5. So 25 divided by 5 is negative 5d. 20 divided by 5 is going to be plus 4m. And 15 divided by 5 plus 3. Can I go on? No, I can't. So this is my GCF. So that's the number outside. And inside would be minus 5d plus 4m minus 3. And if you did a distributed problem, you would see that would equal exactly this. 40k minus 24w minus 30m 
Uh, let's pull out a 4. 4 goes into 4 10 times. 4 goes into 24 12 times. No. Nope. 4 goes into 24 6 times. And 4 goes into 30 no times. So 4 is definitely the wrong number. So that's not the LCM. To CF, I'm sorry. So let's pull out 2. 2 goes into 40 10 times. 20 times. 2 goes into 12. 24, 12 times, and 2 goes in 30, 15 times, 15 minutes. Can I go on? No, I can't. So GCF is 2, it's the highest number, and inside would be 20k minus 12w minus 15m. Um, okay, same old thing. I'm just going to use this. I'll be writing again. So, Two works, no, three, no, four, seven. Seven goes to 14 two times, so it's going to be negative B. Careful with your signs. Seven goes to 24 four times, so it's 4M. Seven goes to 35 five times, it's going to be 5K. Seven goes to 49 seven times, and 7W. So the expression is going to be like this. Here, let's pull out a 2. I think I've gone higher. So 2 goes into 60 30 times. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 2 goes 36 18 times. 2 goes 24 12 times. I should definitely use a higher number. So let's see. Can I use a 2 again? Yes. Can I use a 3? Yes. But I can also use a 6. So let's just go for the highest number possible. So 6 goes into 30Y, 5Y. 6 goes to 6 one time, 1m one or just m. 6 goes to 18 three times. And 6 goes to 12 two times. Can I go again? No, I cannot. So my LCM is the product of these GCF, I'm sorry. So GCF is 2 times 6, which is 12. So the number outside should have been a 12. And inside, I'm going to write 5y minus m minus 3h minus 2p. Because if I did it distribute properly, it should get me back to this expression. So. Uh, solve and check. So let's start with this solve and check. I will do the story. It's a one step equation. So here's my variable h, which is being divided by 4 equals negative 12. Going backwards, I have to multiply those both sides by 4. So let's show this. So here's my equation. Multiply this by 4, this by 4. This will cancel out. Left over is h, and negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. If I do my check, it's h over 4 equals negative 12. h is negative 48, so it's negative 48 over 4 equals negative 12. And negative 48 over 4 is the indeed negative 12. So I need to see all this. Any deviation from this, and you're not going to get a full point. So, next one, again, we can do a story. It's v, and it's multi being multiplied by negative 6, and that gives us negative 36. Going backwards, I have to divide that by negative 6. So, let's see how that works. Follow the instructions. First thing, divide by negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is positive 1 times v, which is v. Negative divided by negative is a positive, so I get 6. Check. Negative 6, V equals negative 36. So V we're going to replace with 6. Negative 6 times positive 6 is indeed negative 36, and that gives us all the answer. And I need to pause this because I need to charge my computer. So that's done. So those are one-step equations, right? They're not even two-step, they're one-step. So again, these two are also one step. And let's see what they look like. So if you did a story, you have a variable k, and it's being subtracted by negative 4, and that gives you negative 10. If you go backwards, you add 4 to both sides. So let's do that. If I add 4 over here, I must add 4 on this side. The 2, 4 will go, k will be left over, and negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. If I sub, uh, substitute, I get negative 6 minus 4 equals negative 10. And negative 6 plus negative 4, if you change it to addition, 
we can really check that negative it equals negative 10 which is the exact same value on the other side so that's done one more one step equations I have my variable w nothing's being multiplied to it by is being subtracted 7 and then equals 19 going forward backwards I'm going to add 7 to both sides so let's see how that works it's going to be plus 7 over here plus 7 over here these two 7s will be 0 W comes down and 19 plus 7 is 26 see if it works 19 equals 26 minus 7 19 equals 26 minus 7 is 19 so I know I'm good Next two are two-step equations. An extra step to those. Next four, I should say. And we have a variable, m, which is being divided by negative 4, and then minus 2, and that equals 8. So everything that's in here, I just wrote it down. Going backwards, I'm going to do add 2, and I'm going to times by negative 4 on both sides, and that's going to give us our plus 3 number. So let's follow our instructions. First thing I do, right here, plus 2, plus 2. So these two will go 0. 8 plus 2 is 10. And now here I'm going to bring down n, negative n over 4. Now I'm told to multiply both sides by negative 4. Multiply this by negative 4. Multiply this by negative 4. Negative n and negative is going to be positive. This is going to both cross out. Right? So I'm going to have m left over because this negative and this negative will become a positive. 10 times negative 4 is negative. Um, and then substitute. Be careful how you substitute, please. Here's my equation. So I'm going to erase the m just for you to see. I erase the m. That's what I have left over. And in the place of the m, I put negative 40. Notice that I'm going to have these two negatives together. I need to see that tomorrow because I can understand that this negative and this negative makes this thing positive, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. Right? That's how I get a positive 10 because these two negatives are together. Because if you don't have one, if you have one of these negatives missing, then I know uh, it should be negative 10. So careful how you substitute. So 10 minus 2 is 8, or well, 8 equals 8. Very good. Um, again, the story k is being multiplied by negative 9, and then added 1 is going to give me negative 53. Inverse operation would be neg minus 1 and then divided by negative 1. Let's show that. So first thing, minus 1 on both sides. That's a 0. 9k, negative 9k, negative 53 minus 1. The same thing as negative 53 plus negative 1. And that gives us negative 54. Second thing, I divide by negative 9. Divide this by negative 9. Po negative and negative is a positive, so I get k less both. Negative and negative gives me a 6, 54 divided by 9, 6. So k equals 6. So substitute 9. In the place of k, we're going to put a 6 plus 1 equals negative 54. Negative 9 and 6 is negative 54 plus 1. Negative 54 plus 1, there's more negatives, and it's going to be negative 54. And you can tell they're both the same. So over here, okay, this story does help. You have W, which being multiplied to 2 thirds, subtract 4, gives me 10. Inverse operation would be plus 10, divide by 2 thirds, and then gives us our mystery number. So let's show that here. First thing, plus 10. No, not plus 10, plus, uh, plus 4. So it's plus 4 over here, plus 4 over here. So let's do cross out. I get 2 thirds w equals 14. Check. So next thing I want to divide by a fraction. So remember when you divide by a fraction, you're multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So you're dividing by 2 thirds, the same thing as multiplying by 3 seconds, 3 halves, 3 halves. On this side, this, 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 this all becomes 1, and I have w left over. I can. Simplify before multiply. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 7. And 7 times 3 is 21. So w is 21. Check. 2 thirds times 21, which is w, minus 4 equals 10. Multiplication comes first, right? So I can put this over 1. Simplify. 
3 divided by 3 is 1, 21 divided by 3 is 7. 7 times 2 now is 14, minus 4 equals 10. And 14 minus 4 is indeed 10. Okay, it's almost the same problem, but deals with negative, so I have a variable m, which is being multiplied by negative 3 fifths, minus 10 equals negative 25. Inverse operations will be plus 10 on both sides, and then divide by negative 3 fifths. So let's see what that looks like. First thing, plus 10, plus 10. So these two go out, and I'm left over with negative 3, 5, 10. Negative 25 plus 10 is negative 15. Now I'm going to divide by 3 fifths on both sides, which is the same thing as multiplying by negative 5 over 3rd, reciprocal negative 5 over 3. Negative times a negative is a positive. This will become 1, 1, 1, 1, or just m. positive m, which is what I want. Negative times a negative, again, it's going to be positive, and then I can simplify to multiply. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So m equals 25. Substitute negative 3 fifths times m, right, right here, which is 25, Minus 10 equals negative 25. Let's see if that's true. I have to multiply these two first. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15. Minus 10 equals negative 25. This negative 15 plus negative 10, yeah, equals negative 25. And two negatives is going to be a negative plus a negative is more negative. So it's negative 25 equals and the last one I am not going to do. Well, here is your bonus word. I'm going to write it right here. Water and my watercress. Part of my salad. Um, and this one, the way I want you to do it, first I did the inverse operation of uh, plus 15, which is minus 15. Then I subtracted my, I did minus 15 on both sides, right? Minus 15 over here, minus 15 over here. And then I got, I'm just going to do it, minus 15. And then I got the plus 15 and the minus 15 equals to zero. So I brought negative 4m. And on the other side, it equals um, negative 32. And then I did the inverse operation of multiplication. So therefore, I divided both sides by negative 4. And on one side, those two negatives gives me a positive, so I'm left over with m. On the other side, I divided negative 32 by negative 4, which gives me positive 8. Blah, 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 blah. And that's, I want all that written down. So use the right terminology. Use inverse operations. Look at what you're doing. We're isolating our variable, right? Because we want our variable all by itself. So all that should be in your explanation. Okay? And we're done.